In our first installment of Picasa 2 Tips, we talked about how to make GIF CDs, use the slideshow feature of Picasa, and even use some of the editing tools, and how to get it set up and import your existing photos from your computer as they are. And again, just to remind you, Picasa 2 is a free program. It is a program that does not contain or hold any pictures. It simply manages the pictures that are currently on your computer. In today's tip, we are going to teach you how to use some of the tools, more of the tools here at the bottom of Picasa 2, including how to email photos and use the new web album, which may take the place of emailing photos for you once you see how well it works. We're also going to learn how to import photos from your camera or your scanner so that they can be placed on your computer where you want them and also have Picasa 2 manage them at the same time. So first of all, we're going to go into our folder. I'm going to click my Classes folder on the left. And then I'm going to select two photos from that folder that I would like to put on a web album. If this is the first time you're going to put uh, photos on a web album, which is simply an online gallery of photos, you will be able to get the opportunity to sign up for it right here with web album. It says if you're not already a member of any of the Picasa or Google services, then you can click here to sign up for web albums and then follow the instructions. I already have a web album username and password, so I'll sign in. Once I sign in, it gives me the op opportunity to create a new web album, or if I already had a web album, to add existing, add to an existing album. You can title your album, so I'm just going to put class photos. You can give a description if you'd like, which will also be up on the web, and even a place taken if you'd like to do that. Then the most important thing, depending on your connection speed, is how large of a picture you want to upload to the internet. Picasa 2 gives you a limited amount of space for you to hold your photos on the internet, so you don't want to put a lot of full-size pictures up on the web. So I'm going to choose medium size, and then I will click OK. And you can see the progress of uploading the photos. It tells you that it's completed. So now we're here in our browser window, and this is what a Picasa web album looks like. It will show you the photos as thumbnails on the left. It'll give you some of the details of whatever photo that you click on in the album. And then if you click on a photo, it gives you the full size picture, whatever the largest size you chose was of the picture. And then your visitors also have the ability to scroll through your photos and that's what a photo album is, or a web album, in Picasa 2. Next, if you want to email a photo, you simply click on a photo or hold down control key on your keyboard and click on the photos that you'd like to send. As you use the control click, you can see the highlighted blue border around the photos indicates those are the photos you have highlighted. And in the lower left-hand corner of Picasa, you'll see small thumbnails of the files or pictures that you have highlighted. Then I can click the email button here at the bottom of the tray in Picasa. And it comes up and asks me, how do I want to send that? Either Microsoft Outlook or Outlook Express, Gmail, or Picasa Mail. Gmail is the free Google email. Picasa Mail is a extra part of Picasa that you can Again, sign up for for free, or if you are using Outlook Express, this will work the same way. After I click the Outlook button, my new email pops up with the four photos automatically resized, and they've been attached. All I need to do is change the subject. Google will add just to some text in the body of the message that I can delete if I so choose, and then address it and send it, just as I would any email. Printing from Picasa works much the same way as using the web album or email. I can just highlight the photos I'd like to print, click the print button at the bottom of Picasa, and then up pops up the Picasa layout options that I can use. Whether I want to do wallet size prints, 3x5s, 4x6s, etc. Then I can choose the printer, printer setup. In addition, one of my favorite things about Picasa is the, the easy ability to order prints. Once I've downloaded my photos, I can click Order Prints, and Picasa presents me with a number of different options for me to order print. So if you have an account with one of these programs, you just click on Choose, 
the photos will automatically be uploaded to their service where you can work with them and choose what type of photo products and how many photos you want to be printed. One little advanced tip on Picasa when you're selecting photos is oftentimes if you want to switch and pick photos from more than one folder, you will see that you're going to lose what you pick in the first folder. So for example, I have four photos selected as indicated here in my classes folder. Or if I choose another folder and then try to click some photos, I lose the first four that I had. So what you need to do to overcome that, I'm going to select two photos to make it easy to see down here. And I'm going to click hold these photos. Then if I click to classes and select two more photos, maybe three photos, the first two are still there. And if I click the hold button there, I can choose to go to a third folder if I'd like. And then once I get to the third folder, I can get all of those photos together. So keep that in mind if you are switching between folders and you'd like to be able to highlight more than one picture from different folders, make sure you use the hold option. Once you're finished working with your photos and you'd like to clear the hold tray, just go ahead and click the clear button here. It says, are you sure? Click yes. And now nothing is selected again. Now that you have learned how to use most of Picasa's features, you need to learn how to get your photos from your camera or scanner back into Picasa. Insert your memory card into your memory card reader or simply plug your camera into the computer, whichever way you use to get your photos. Cancel anything that automatically comes up and in Picasa, click the import button. Once the import button is clicked, usually it'll automatically see the photos on your camera and they give you very small thumbnails telling you how many photos it does see. And at this point, I can click and choose just the photos I want. And I can either click import all, or in my case, I'm going to just say import the ones I selected. Once I click import, Picasso will ask me which folder I want to place the photos in. It will automatically move the photos to your default location. Usually my pictures on my computer, I've chosen a folder that I've created called digital photos. You can use the browse button to change that if you would like. You can add extra information down here for searching which we did not cover in Picasa, but it's something you can do. And when you're finished, you can either choose do nothing as far as leaving the, the pictures on your card or safely delete the pictures from your card and then click finish. The photos are automatically imported. Pictures that you have taken show up in their new folder. We had done a test folder. So it's simple as that. Extremely quick, extremely easy, and makes it really nice to do that. Also in the import function, if you have a scanner hooked to your computer, you can click on select device and your scanner will show here as an option and you can scan directly into Picasa. So in our past two tips, we have covered many of the Picasa functions and many of the Picasa features, but these two tips will keep you headed in the right direction and we hope you enjoy Picasa 2 and learning from our tips at helpmerick.com.